whether poised at a river bend or cruising the coastline with slow, deep wing beats, the great blue heron is surely a majestic sight. This stately heron, with its subtle blue-gray plumage, often stands motionless as it scans for prey or wades belly deep with long, deliberate steps. They may move slowly, but the great blue herons can strike like lightning to grab a fish or snap up a gopher. In flight, look for this widespread heron's tucked-in neck and long legs trailing out behind. The species usually breeds in colonies, in trees close to lakes or other wetlands. Adults generally return to the colony site after winter from December to March. Usually, colonies include only great blue herons, though sometimes they nest alongside other species of herons. Although nests are often reused for many years, herons are socially monogamous with a single breeding season. Individuals usually choose new mates each year. Males arrive at the colonies first and settle on nests where they court females. Most males choose a different nest each year. The female lays three to six pale blue eggs, which can measure from 50.7 to 76.5 millimeters in length. Egg weights range from 61 to 80 grams, 2.2 to 2.8 ounces. One brood is raised each year. The first broods are laid generally from March to April. Eggs are usually laid at two day intervals incubated around 27 days and hatch asynchronously over a period of several days. The first chick to hatch usually becomes more experienced in food handling and aggressive interactions with siblings, so often grows more quickly than the other chicks. Both parents feed the young at the nest by regurgitating food. Parent birds have been shown to consume up to four times as much food when they are feeding their young chick. 